Uh, my name is Princess Weeks, assistant editor. And I'm Rachel Leisha, and I do social media and nice little funny posts. Um, this is a new series where we're going to talk about pretty much... All kinds of bullshit. Yeah, like whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> Clearly, we're going to swear. We have... <laughs> so, beware if you're a child. Yes. Um, this is a a soft PG-13, I would say. It's... Like, um, like... <laughs> Like, not Infinity War Dark, but, like, maybe Spider-Man Homecoming, like, yeah, innuendo. Was, there were swear words. Yeah. There was, like, but, some. Yeah, but I mean, like, in terms of the, the sexy bits. Because we're gonna, we get pretty raunchy. Um, so, today we're just gonna let you get to know us a little bit more. Yeah. Besides, you know, our posts. And the best way to get to know us is, like, who do we wanna bone? Yeah, we're talking celebrity <laughs> crushes. And if you haven't noticed, there are boxes with men on them in front of us <laughs> for a reason. Because we've chosen these two boys as our celebrity crushes. Well, in my case, like the male celebrity crush. Um, yeah. Tom Hiddleston is my, my bae, my philosopher bae. So cute. I love this picture of him. Um, and I chose him because we were talking about why we like our particular crushes and like mm -hmm. what it says about us and like the women I'll get into later on but Tom is like my go-to male crush because I feel like he's really smart and I love how very deeply he looks into like Loki psychology like I feel like he'll be like the best D&D &D player of all time because he really like gets his character and is like you know what what would they do when they roll this dice and like how would they like he's very like intense and like very classics major and I find that very cute and adorable. I chose this man who looks Italian in this picture but is not Sebastian Stan. Gasp! My my love, my light and my lady is the sea, Bass. <laughs> um, I chose him because, from what I can tell, we have very similar taste in music. We have very similar taste in movies. We are kind of the same person, so maybe I wanted to fall in love with myself. And he has ocean blue eyes, and he's like so sweet, and I love him so much with his butt chin. Um, <laughs> we did try to put out previous pictures of these fine gentlemen, and we were like, let's color them in because they came out in like black and like like weird. We, the printer time. wasn't a color printer, and so it printed out like when you don't have a color printer, and it's like attempting to give you some colors. There's like, like a purple strip, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, so we decided to color things. We were like, this needs to look good. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, let's explain. Because it is a shit show, for lack of yeah. a better term. Mine's very simple because uh, there's a lot of dark parts in this. I didn't. I couldn't fill in with graffiti and, like, I have art. graffiti and, and picket. I was attempting, I was attempting to show, like, the, the, the great, my deep love for him by making him a nice Jotun aqua blue. And it ended up like... Aqua blue, it is royal. Uh, it's royal. It's, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's cerulean, for sure. Uh, and then I was like, oh, this means that he'll have absolutely no definition of face. Just looking like one beautiful nightcrawler blob, which is fine with me. It took, I us, love it took us much too long to realize these markers were going to make it so there were no details in the picture. Yeah. Like, I started I, coloring in the suit and was like... Oh. Yeah. Like, I tried to, like, make him, like, give him knuckles again, and it was kind of like, it just looked like he has, like, a blue infinity gauntlet. But, uh, so this is a much more flattering picture. I decided, uh, he needed graffiti and to be saying something, um, and to have a sign that he, pick, he, like, put out here himself that is complimenting him. Uh, he has Bucky's star because I got real lazy trying to color in this shirt yellow. And I told her to do that. Yeah, <laughs> and you were like, do that. So then I gave him guyliner, not Bucky guyliner. Like, he looks like Brandon Urie, like, when Panic! at the Disco first started. Good time. Kind of like eyeliner. Um, his little, I don't know if you can see this, but his little bubble says, I'll keep you warm in the winter, baby. <laughs> it says, girls like bad boys. <laughs> so, this is what he was looking like in my mind. I should have been exactly a makeup the artist. Same. His guy liner looks It's on point. Great. It's on point. If we go through the timeline of like our thirst, yes. who was like the first most like intense crush for you when you were growing up? Harrison Ford and I was six. The first crush that made me like, oh I'm a straight woman who likes men with prominent chins and blue eyes. His are green, but still. Um, it was Harrison Ford. 
And you? Uh, for me, before my, my bisexual awakening, I would say that the first, like, big crush that I had was definitely Ryder Strong, uh, <laughs> Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. He was just, like, the most glorious, beautiful, great hair, like, bad everything. Boy. Just <laughs> to go back to girls like that. He was a bad boy, but also a poet, which, you know, when you're an adult, you realize this is a disaster combination. Oh, that's never the, never the poets, never. Female crush that was super intense was Emma Watson. And thinking about it, they look very similar in, like, <laughs> Ryder Strong and Emma Watson look and like, 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 like there's an episode of Boy Meets World where Sean is in drag and he looks great like, as and he looks great as a woman and a man was like oh bisexual dreams like I feel like Emma Watson was like the sexual awakening of like many a fan girl absolutely especially when she got like that pixie haircut and everyone was kind of like I was like yeah. This is a look. <laughs> I remember just like this. She looks really good, and I was just uh, like, uh, and everyone was like. Okay. I remember her dad being like, you're not Audrey Hepburn. That's what I remember from that. Her dad oh, really? told her, like, well, you're not Audrey Hepburn. <gasps> Rude! We can, we all wish we could be Audrey Hepburn. I wish I was Audrey. I wish I could... Pick, can I pick me? When we talk, Whenever you talk about how much you love a celebrity, everyone's just like, oh, you're crazy. So, like, what do you think is, like, the difference between, between like, being like, oh, I'm a girl who likes this celebrity guy in, like, a... Like, romantically but not like oh i'm writing them love letters every night but just like you oh, admire I am, them I am. oh well, every night me, i then. draft i draft it a dra i draft a letter dearest, dearest sebastian dearest thomas william hits <laughs> but what do you think is the difference between like that and then like the kind of stereotype of like oh all of us are just like obsessive crazy fangirls i think the line gets drawn on like the fangirl i don't know if you're this kind of fangirl i'm the kind of fangirl who like I'll go to Good Morning America, I'll go to like an event that they put online, like I've gone to a couple of his, like if you put up a ticket, I'll go. I'm the kind of person who, I'll go to an event, I'll tag you on social media, I'll like go to a convention, but that's like it, like I, I'm not going to go stand outside of a hotel for hours waiting for you, mm -hmm. I'm not going to go stand outside of like some place I know you frequent to try and see you, I'm like that is a line that girls cross very often not just girls like fans in general yeah. cross it but like the fangirl mentality is fangirls will do it because we're perceived as like not as scary in a weird way yeah and so it'll be like they'll go and stand outside hotels and like tweet them and be like well where are you come down i'm like right. no i would be like uh-uh i'm gonna yeah. stay in my room until you're gone right well like for me, I'm a very lazy fangirl. Like, when I go to events, I'm like, oh, like, you know, at New York Comic Con this year, I'm going to go see Jason Momoa because he's amazing. And, like, you know. And, like, and the same with, like, uh, Daniel Fischel, who played Topang, is going to be at New York yeah. Comic Con this year. I'm like, you're a hair goddess. I have to meet you. But, like, I the only times I've ever stood out to, like, meet a, a celebrity was, like, Neil Gaiman when he was doing his book signings because, like, to me, I was like, that was worth it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, hi, how are you? I like your work. Goodbye. You yeah. know? It wouldn't be like, oh my god, I could take a picture. Like, I would never, like, if celebrities, like, eating dinner, I wouldn't want to be like... Yeah. To me, because I would not want someone to do that to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of my whole thing. I don't... If I see people in public, my problem is I have this brain that likes to, like recognize people but I don't want to talk to them ever mm -hmm. what happens is I recognize you I see you and then I'm like cool bye but I've already said your name because my brain's like ah, it's Michael Shannon because it's happened to Michael Shannon four different times oh, wow. where I've seen him and just said his name and not meant to I was just like ah, Michael Shannon and then wanted to like walk away and then he like looked at me like thinking I was gonna be like can I have a big shirt I'm like I don't want anything from you I just I'm like that's Michael Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted to walk away. Like, I am la I'm lazy. Like, I was like, if yeah. you're doing a movie Q&A that's, like, at Union Square, mm -hmm. I'll go. Right. It's right there. I'm not traveling anymore. Right. And I think, like, as, as someone who's, like, a queer woman, like, there is, like, an obsessive, like, queer fan base to it as well. Because, uh -huh. like, I like I love Carmilla and, like, Natasha Nicholvanis is, like, one of my huge celebrity crushes. But she's also someone whose, like, work I legitimately respect. Yeah. And I know that for a lot of, like, queer actresses or actresses who play, who play like, major queer roles, sometimes you can get, like, pigeonholed into, mm -hmm. like, the way that fans view their attraction of you as only through those lenses. So I know, like, for the actresses in from Carmilla, there's a big issue of, like, whenever they do other projects, it's like, well, where's Natasha? Where's Elsie? Yeah. And it's like, they're not just Carmilla and Laura. Like, they're also just, like, actors. And, like, to me, it's like, if I like a celebrity and I admire them, 
I like their work. How much screen time has he had at Bucky Barnes? 40 minutes. So, you know, like, it's not even like, <laughs> that's a hammer moment. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. That's all. We're going to use this whenever we think something's bullshit. <laughs> Bucky Barnes has only had 40 minutes on screen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's stupid. The dismissal that happens when you dismiss, like, the actor from the character, especially when it comes to certain issues, it, like, ignores what they're dealing with. Like, Lana Perea, who's, uh, who played Regina Mills in Once Upon a Time, you know, she's, uh, Italian and she's Puerto Rican. Uh, she's from Brooklyn. Shout out. For her to be, like, a woman of color leading a show that she wasn't really supposed to be leading, it's supposed to be, like, Jennifer Morrison's show, for her to be, like, the clear fan favorite, for her to, like, be the one in the spinoff, for her to have all the success from this character, is more than just Regina Mills. It's about, it's like, her. what it means for Lana Perea as an actress to, like, be a part of a cult classic show. Yeah. Do I want to sleep with Bucky Barnes? Sure. Have you seen the arm? However, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, sure, he probably has qualities that are like Bucky, and I'm sure Tom Hiddleston has qualities that are like Loki, but it's, like, the difference. I hope not. I mean, I forgot. I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, and I think that's the best thing for me is that, like, I like Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. As Loki is great, I like the character, but I like him. Like, and I, I like Sebastian Stan. As Bucky, great. Yeah. I like Sebastian Stan. Exactly. I would just say this, when people like get mad at celebrities for being married or being in relationships, I'm like, girl, stop. Let them have joy. Like, do you know how many straight actresses I have crushes on? And I'm not like, ugh their husbands. I'm like, at least she found joy. Like, yeah, with it, like, for real though, except for Taylor Swift, because that was a mistake on multiple levels for multiple people. <laughs> I would like, as long as he's happy, like when he was dating Kat Dennings, I was like, good, that's two hot people together. I was like, that's... he dated Kat Dennings? Yes, girl, he did. I was like, I was woke for it. I was like, yes, 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 because they're both hot. And I was just like, I approve that's this message. Insane. Yes, Loki and Darcy, I approve this message. And, and I was that is like, <laughs> it was amazing and I had so much joyful joyful noise for that and then it was like oh he's eating tails with them and I was kind of like what you know Chris Hemsworth is like happily married with his wife he has like three whole children that are adorable he carries him like little hot dogs I remember that picture of his daughter that he was holding and she looks so tiny but it's but it's and weird. that's cute like, like why would people you hate that but people don't with Hemsworth they didn't with Anna Ferris and Pratt they didn't um they don't with like Susan and Robert Downey. It's like as they shouldn't because that's sacred. Yeah, I like love Susan. S Susan is the reason Robert Downey's here. But like uh, the but what's wild to me is like it's the ones that are the boyfriends of the internet. But yes, our, so our our dream date, <laughs> our dream double date. Okay. But here's the here's the thing about this, guys. You have to secret yourself out into the universe. So whatever you want to come to you, you have to like. Yeah. Put it out there because that's what the secret is. Not I don't yeah, know what the yeah, secret that's is. What I the, think that the, the secret, secret is just like. What if this double D went down? Oh okay. my god. Okay. I feel like, alright, so, I feel like if I was going on, like, for our, our ideal date, if I was going to picture a date, like, you we and were Tom. Going, Tom and I were going on a date. Okay. It would be, like, in, like, this really nice, there's this really great place called Molasses, it's in Bushwick. And it's like uh, I'm taking him to fucking Bushwick. It's like a coffee shop and like a bookstore, and we would like talk about like you know literature because he's a classics major. I have a tattoo of the Iliad on my arm. We talk about our favorite translations of the Odyssey and Dostoevsky and Proust, and like <laughs> and like drink a lot of like strong black tea with milk in it because we're both classy that way. And then <laughs> and when it gets later, we like mix it up and make it like a whiskey sour. I feel like he likes a nice cocktail, though. I'm a whiskey sour girl, though. And you're, she's just sitting here judging me. She's like, this is the corniest date of all time. I'm like, this date sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Meanwhile, me and this bitch, we go mini golf. I'd be like, okay, we're going to go, like, do an activity. Like, look, it doesn't have to be a great activity. We can go to Madame Tussauds. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. But, like... I think it'd be funny if you did something like that on a first date. Like, if him and I went to Madame Tussauds and we're taking pictures of the people he's worked with. My my friend told me that the best date she can take someone to is, like, a trip to the Natural uh, History Museum. And I was like, and that's where I would take him after. Like, we'd go get some coffee, make sure we had that, the No, that's the double date part. Yeah. Because I want to go to the Natural History okay, okay. I would bring him to okay, the Natural okay. So then in Madame Tussauds, we, we beeline for HIDS. Because we know we're going to see HIDS. So we go to the HIDS one that's, like, up. Because right now they have the Hiddleston. Oh, yeah. Um, 
We, we go get his. And you troll it. We just trolling it because we're like, oh my god, our double dates are, but where's Princess? So we, this is a day date. Yeah. Okay, so we were, we were at Madame Tussauds real early. I wonder, will they wear matching, like, truck hats? Because you know they're both going to wear, like, hats. No, he shit. wears that fucking paper boy hat that he wore in my picture with him that I almost ripped off his head. I hate it. It looks like he's like, get your babes here, babes. It's like the flat bill. Oh, like, those are cute. The Newsies hat. Oh. He ain't Jack Kelly. If he ain't out there being like, now is the time to seize the day, I don't want it. I was gonna say, if you could guess like one song that he knows word for word, what would it be? Oh, no, I know, because he posted some fucking dumb video that I love. Oh, I, I have like such a weird love hate. Like he does things, I'm like, oh, I love that, but I hate you for it. Um, it's If You Leave by like the, uh, the Orcas, fuck. I don't remember the band, so that's like, if you leave, don't look back. It's like that song. And he like sang this video and it was like, don't look back. Like in a car driving oh, somewhere. God. And it was delightful. And so I know he knows every word to that. I feel like Tom Hiddleston knows every word to Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I feel like when it comes on, he's just like Oh, he also delighted. knows every every word to, because uh, he said it on some interview. What, what song is it? It's the Jeezy one. And I can't remember the name of it. Oh, uh, mm. I mean it. No, no one with Cardi. No, no limit. limit. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's actually a banger. Yeah, he's a very good singer. Because he said Although, that, and I was like, eh, I got that. I get some money. <laughs> Karaoke that would be so banger though, because I know he loves rap, so he would probably know like he'd like look to me for like to do all the like end parts. Yeah. Like we'd all three of us would be like, <laughs> like uh, uh, and I'd be like, oh, I'm having all of the fun. There is one thing that we didn't talk about <gasps> that we need to talk about because oh, it's yes. going to be a running gag, and we have to establish it now. Yes. We came up with the most iconic thing you can, a fragrance. Yes. It all started because I, my friend and I were being dumb one night. And we were like, but what if people called Sebastian Stan Bash? And so then I proceeded to be like, I want to have a scenario where I can call him Bash and it not be fucking weird. So then when I said this to Brinza, she, I was like, you know, that sounds kind of like a fragrance. Here's the fragrance, guys. <laughs> Imagine if you will, you're like, you're on a white couch. Why you have this white couch as a woman, I really don't know. But you have a white couch. You're sitting there, you have this big cup of coffee. It's like this big. Godzilla size. Yeah, it's like coffee. this big. You're like, oh, coffee, it's steaming. And then in your like steaming coffee scenario, you're in like an off-white sweater. You look, there's a fire roaring. You look out, it's raining in New York. And you're like, oh, and you're, you like, you hear the door open because your boyfriend's coming home, and then it just goes, Bash. and like that's the scent. <laughs> and we we've, we've expanded upon this since Several we times. said it. And you can only buy Bash at like Bergdorf Goodman. Like you can't go anywhere else. About you can't get it at Bloomingdale's or Macy's. It's only Bergdorf yeah. Goodman. And she was like, because like Bash, of course, is like a cute way of like Sebastian, <laughs> Sebastian. And she was like, well, it'd be like what. Hids? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, hids and hers. <laughs> Which I explained this to my mom after we like separated. My mom goes, oh, well, it could be Zara because they have a his or hers section. <laughs> I was like, mom, you missed the point. Even though Tom Hiddleston is like probably one of the most posh people of all time, I'm like, it's like a working class brand. You get it you at get Target. <laughs> okay, and we were rocking past Aerie, and it was like a whole home section from Aerie, and we were like, this is where they sell hids and hers. <laughs> And we both thought of Chris Pine for a bit afterwards, yeah. which is ridiculous because he's probably the most pretentious of all three and would just go to like Club Monaco all yeah. the time. But we were just like, hits and hers, torn it. Oh. It's a great, because you know what, because Tom is very fancy, but he likes to just walk around and be his own man. <laughs> the scent is like aspirational where the man is attainable. Like yeah. you're like you're like high end sight scent for like and then this mid man's in like a, a sweatshirt and gym pants with like a sweat just like, hat. Just like hat oversized or or worse cutoffs in the summertime. <laughs> just like a whole stream of sweat, just like <laughs> No, you ruined the dream. I dream to dream in time gone by. We learned, as Princess said, so much about us today. <laughs> You'll have plenty to drag us about now. Like, I know that's what you guys are like, oh, I knew this bitch was gonna be dumb. Like, I, mean, I knew they're gonna, these dumbass. They're words. like, this is why broads shouldn't work on the internet. <laughs> dumb broads talking about. If you about. drag us, Godzilla here is coming for you. He has spikes. And Jotunheim Loki. Cause he and this girl likes bad boys. <laughs> Girls like bad boys. 
So whenever you guys are gonna hate on, you can't even see Tom. It's okay, he's there. He's there. He has a mighty presence. <laughs> whenever you, the mighty hammer of Thor is gonna come down and smite you, even yeah. though it doesn't exist anymore. Right. So now he, he's, a, he's a bigger blade now. Just like he's a dead axe. The storm dead, breaker. Dead axe. Yes. That dead axe though. Which is like so much more. Oh my gosh, that's spin. that's Thor's scent. Axe bodies. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> well, until next time, friends. <laughs> but we are going to be doing more of these, like, get to know us, kind of mm -hmm. talking about, like, fun stuff, fan culture, all that kind of stuff. And we will yeah. also be eventually incorporating, like, a hot topics yeah. section. So look forward to that if you want our, like, raw, uncut <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> uncut. Uncut. <laughs> Just our thoughts about stuff going on in the week because we figured like <laughs> I just was like uh, uncut. Because sometimes like what you say in editorial doesn't really come across the way it would in your own voice. Right. So yeah, it'll be fun. Um, if you have things that you want, like if you're like no one ever talks about this one scene, send it to us because we probably will talk about it. Yeah. We're those people who, like, if, if it's a scene that no one talks about, chances are that, like, we're the two who would talk about it. Right. And so, like, yeah, leave your comments down below. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Any, like, hot topics, discussion points. Like, we know James Gunn's probably going to be the first one. Who were your first celebrity, celebrity crushes? Right. And we, we played this, and then we realized we couldn't play it tonight because we've already known each other's answers. Mm -hmm. But in a fuck, Mary kill scenario, because I like hearing people's answers, who are always your, like, who you always want to kiss, who you always want to fuck, and who you always want to marry. Your consistence. Your consistence. <laughs> so tell us your. All right, and have a good night, and we will see you guys next week. Next week. Bye. Bye.